home from running a few errands. It's actually Friday. Of course, we got Chipotle for lunch. But while I was gone, my Christmas present came. I'm so excited. This is the Christmas present from Juan. He's sitting right here and he's being so impatient. Open it. Yes. I'm like, I'll, I'll open it after I eat. And he's like, no, now. And he's like sitting here unboxing it from like the packaging and like about to open it. And I'm like, no, this is my Christmas present. You can't touch it. <laughs> so anyways, my Christmas present from Juan is an iPad Pro. It's the 11 inch. I'm very, very excited about this. I guess it was like backwards and stuff. And then I ended up getting the pencil as well. I actually just ordered the pencil yesterday because we saw that this shipped out yesterday. So I'm really excited that this came really fast. Stop talking, more opening. More opening? Are you ready? <laughs> That was pretty poor. <laughs> ah. Babe, you can't open that one too. Babe, leave it. Don't open that one. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. Which one did I get? I got the space gray as well. Man, I don't want my fingerprints all over this. I feel like I gotta wash my hands. You guys should see the, his facial expressions he's giving me over here. Ta-da! Oh, I feel like I'm gonna drop this. I need to get the screen protector on it and stuff. Mine. <laughs> mine? No, it's mine. What would you even use an iPad for? I don't know. You don't know? I'm putting the camera on you. You turned it on? Babe. <laughs> My productivity is not gonna know what hit it. <laughs> My task list, my to-do list, my calendar, all that sort of stuff I'm so excited about. That's as much as I'm opening it for now. Cause I need to eat, I'm starving. It's almost two o'clock. Thanks for joining, babe. And the cute little pencil. Yeah, I primarily wanted this. What were my reasons? I wanted to be able to watch TV and shows on this in my office when I'm like working and stuff to have like noise on the background. I love that. And then I wanted to be able to utilize like good notes um, and like have a planner for just keeping myself organized, like having an official planner, but like digitally and having it sync to all my devices. That's something that like really excited me. And especially with the pencil to be able to like write everything by hands, like all my to-do lists and stuff like that. Uh, Procreate so that that could really help me with like YouTube and just like a creative outlet for drawing and stuff like that for me and um, work related stuff too. I was thinking about getting the keyboard so I can utilize like responding to comments and really anything like that. Anyways, I'm really excited for this. I'll uh, have to get it all set up and then I can show you guys a little bit later on it. But I'm gonna eat first. Priority, I'm starving. So that I can have energy to do this in a little bit. Cause I wanna like, I need to like look everything up. I need to know how to set this up and stuff, so. We're putting this on holds and we're eating some chipotle. I washed my hair this morning and I didn't style it or anything, so I just threw a beanie on it so I don't have to worry about it. Ah, it smells so good. I just got my veggie bowl that I always get. So if you're new, here, I'll tell you my order. Okay. So I get white rice, pinto beans, pico de gallo, sour cream, cheese, and guacamole on it. Obviously the guac is free. If you don't get meat and you get a vegetarian bowl and that's always what I do. And then a bag of chips, cause this is essentially like a large dip for me. So I just dip like the chips in it. Oh my God, I'm salivating. Always, always salivating when it comes to Chipotle. I'm probably gonna have a Coke. I need to wash my hands before I start eating. And then um, I'm gonna watch Cheer. I love Cheer, like season one when it came on, what was it, last year? They just released a new season a couple of days ago and I'm more than halfway through it. I think I'm on like episode six out of nine or something like that. So I'm gonna watch an episode while I eat this. Are you guys watching Cheer as well? I don't know, I'm so in love with it. I actually used to be a cheerleader 
long time ago. Oh, those are the good old days. <laughs> Their determination, their focus, just like their athleticism is just so inspiring to me. I don't know, love it. Anyway, welcome to a new vlog, by the way. I never even officially got it kicked off. We're just gonna do a little weekend in my life. If you are brand new here, my name is Carissa. I post tons of vlogs, fashion content, styling, hauls, all that sort of stuff. So I really hope that you guys subscribe and stick around. Let's get to it. So for dinner tonight, we've decided that we're gonna make a stew. So we pretty much have like everything all prepped and ready to go. Juan ended up finding this recipe and it's actually a beef and oxtail stew. So we have the oxtail, we have the beef, we cut up the carrots and the potatoes, pretty much everything. So it's like ready to like throw in. So we have the onions, we have the garlic, we have the thyme, the tomato paste is ready to go. And then over here we have the beef stock and then Juan just turned this on to start cooking the meat. And we're starting it now at seven, a little after seven because this is gonna take like two hours, a little over two hours, like maybe two hours and 15 minutes, all said and done to cook through. So that way it's pretty much dinner time, right? For us anyways. Yeah. yeah, it's more than enough time. And this recipe actually calls for red wine. So that's the red wine that we've decided to add to this. And then since the bottle's open, looks like we're having wine for dinner. <laughs> Not complaining there. Mm -hmm. Although you guys, Juan had to turn on the fan. But I've been very much in to margaritas and just tequila. It's been a couple days since I've had one and now I'm like craving another so much. Babe, I'm craving it. Wine and a margarita for dinner. Yes. Double fist, that's just waiting to have a hangover tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I'll have one. Juan ended up getting me a bottle for Christmas. That was like one of my Christmas presents. Actually, let me show you because I never even showed it. This is the bottle that he ended up getting me as a reposado. It is so smooth, so delicious. So you can see that I've had a couple of drinks. <laughs> We're gonna start it. delicious so I'm hoping it's super good yeah yeah give a little stir Gracias. okay I have to taste it right here because we're gonna go over there sit and eat but I gotta let you guys know what it tastes like. And I'm very curious too. You ready, babe? So do we what? Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if I said it or not, but Juan got this recipe off of TikTok actually. So I'll link the recipe down below for you guys if you guys wanted to give this stew a try. 
This is really good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Good morning. We meet again in the kitchen. So I decided that we're gonna have waffles for breakfast. I mean, Juan's already been up for a few hours before me. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna have some waffles on this Saturday morning. Close your eyes, hear the voice within calling. This heavy load got under It's ready. Do you say this is ready? So I like to put butter, powdered sugar, and syrup on mine. And then over here, Juan put jam and some dulce de leche on his. He's so Argentine. <laughs> this is also not like a standard pancake and waffle mix. It's actually one that has high protein in it. So it tastes a little bit different, but it has low sugar and high amounts of protein and like fiber and stuff in it. So it's a little bit better for you. It just bends a little bit. I got the magic keyboard delivered this morning. <laughs> so it goes like, like that. Boom. So I guess a quick little update on the iPad. So since I opened it up last night, I've just been literally glued to it and using it in every second of the day. I've been loving it so much. So, I mean, I was just really getting it all set up, but there's a lot more like prep and things that I wanna do to it too, but obviously just getting all my settings configured, getting all the apps downloaded um, and stuff like that. I've also been messing around with like Procreate and GoodNotes. Those are the two of the apps that I really wanted. Um, and why I wanted to get this iPad too, especially like with the pencil. So it's getting used to writing with the pencil and just like the different things that you can do with that as well. So yeah. And then obviously now adding the keyboard, it's just like the perfect combo to like carry around, especially if like I'm right here, like in the kitchen, it's a nice way to like prop it up and everything. I was actually in here just like responding to some comments and stuff too. So I like that I have a full keyboard to type on and then good notes. I'm just like messing around with like some sort of like schedule planner this is just like a temporary one to see what type of layout i like before actually purchasing one so that's how i plan on um, keeping a planner now instead of using like a task list like i usually did in the notes app so yeah anyways this has been a lot of fun love it so very much my productivity game i feel like is definitely going to change and improve and i'm so excited for that Christmas decorations. I mean, it's time. So I'm going to start doing it and let's see how he reacts. But yeah, I'm just done cleaning everything upstairs and then I'm going to go downstairs and start to tidy up a little bit. Vacuuming, laundry, that sort of stuff. So Yay. something I totally forgot that I bought was a second one of these like spice racks to go in this drawer.
ta-da this looks so much better we have like so many of like the same things like chili powder for instance we have three separate ones but i don't know i feel like i organized it the best i could into groups like we have five million different types of peppers and stuff like that um so i just feel like this looks so much better yay bye later we're actually in the middle of watching Eternals on Disney Plus it's after 10 p.m. right now but we decided to take a little bit of a break to have dessert so I'm whipping us up some lava cakes I actually got this huge pack if you guys recall from a Costco haul I did in another vlog and so we made two the other night and they are so dang good so we're gonna make some more and then we also have some ice cream, like de-thawing a little bit over here. We have a raspberry one that would go really good with this to like balance out like a lot of the sweetness in this, like the chocolatey. But then we also have a sea salt caramel too. I feel like the raspberry is gonna be like amazing with this. I feel like pretty much the only thing I'm showing you in this vlog is me eating. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Let's cut into this so we can see. Oh, yum. It's almost 1 p.m. It's Sunday now. I just got done uploading all of the footage from my Avo Yoga haul. That's my next video that's gonna be going up on Tuesday. And then I just imported all the footage so that I can look at it, make sure that it looks really good. I'm not gonna spend time editing it right now, but I always like to like double check before I clean everything up. So it looks good. I ended up cleaning up the full room again. <sighs> so yeah, it feels good to have that done for the day. Now I can just relax and do whatever else i wanted to get up to today also tomorrow is a holiday it's martin luther king jr day so i have the day off from work which is really great so i'll probably just add it tomorrow but anyways that's what i've been getting up to today so far it's taking up a few hours i would say i started getting ready about like maybe 10 20 a.m and it's almost 1 p.m now like i said so Filming always takes up like a big chunk of my day. But I figured while I'm in this room and I'm looking over at like my clothing rack, I had a few requests from Instagram to share the essential sweatshirts that I picked up. I posted on my Instagram stories three essential sweatshirts that I got in. And then of course the picture, you guys know the picture if you saw it, it just kind of like showed a little bit of the sweatshirts but not like the full sweatshirts. So we got requests to do a little try on. So I figured I would just share with you guys really quickly those three sweatshirts that I got and how they look like on me. However, the black one, you guys just saw 
on me yesterday actually i wore that like all day yesterday no all day the day before i don't know whatever day it was it was in this vlog <laughs> and then since i am fulfilling requests at this moment i had a few comments about sharing updates on my sleep number mattress so i figured i would share that update as well you know why not so these are the three sweatshirts that i picked up i got it from essence and i'll link them down below the last time that i saw only like a size extra extra small was available in all of them but i don't know if they do restocks or what the situation is you guys know essential stuff like it goes out of stock pretty quickly the first one i got was like this heathered gray sort of color and it is actually a hoodie that i got it in and i just love the simple detail of the essentials on the front and on the sleeve i got a crew neck in black this is the one that you guys saw me wear a couple days ago and then i also got this one as well so let me put them on so that you can see what they look like on me so here is the black one on me all three of these i got in a women's size extra extra small so I just got the smallest size that they have. These run extremely oversized and large. And yes, I am still wearing these sweatpants. I think I've been wearing them the whole vlog and I don't even care. They're really comfy. It doesn't matter. So yeah, this is what it looks like on. You can see that the bottom band kind of like rolls under on me. I kind of like like that sort of look on this. And then it is like a raglan crew neck. So the seam is going this way right here versus like hitting my shoulder going straight there's also the essentials detail right here on the sleeve and then yeah i just love like the simplicity of this essential logo right here on the front and then the back of it which i don't know if you can really see there's nothing on the back there's just like a little patch like at the very top that says essentials on it this is the next one so i think that the color that they call this is gray but it's a very taupey color it is gorgeous i think that this is like my favorite one but this is exactly like the last crew neck one that i just shared you can see the seam details on this one i'm sure like a whole lot better when I was trying to refer to like the raglan detail on it and then yeah all the logos are in the exact same spot the fit of this is exactly the same because it's the same size and then let's see let's see if I can even share the back so you can see like the black patch at like the very top yeah that's the one I'm talking about that just like says essentials on it and then let's just try on the last version which is the hoodie and then here is the hoodie version of it. I really like this color because I knew it wasn't going to be like a gray color I already had in my collection. It's kind of like a heathered oatmeal-y gray color. You can see the gray difference pretty evidently, right? But yeah, I just thought that the color was gorgeous. The fit of the hoodie is identical to the crew necks, which is really nice to see. So this one is, again, is in the size extra extra small. You guys, I just love the way that these fit. I think that they are really impeccable. Like the quality is great. They're really warm in the inside it's like fleecy soft interior they're pretty much the same price as all of the Ritzia ones too but then you're kind of like just paying for like the essentials brand of it too so i don't know i love these hoodies if you guys can get your hands on them get them i feel like you guys would really like them especially if you're a huge fan of like the Ritzia type ones too you know okay and i'm going to share a really quick update on the bed for you guys as well for those interested in a sleep number. So I'll quickly show you what the bed looks like. This entire room, including the frame, is like really under construction. We just got it in, but there was an issue with the brackets. So the frame isn't really like even on. It's just leaning against the bed right now. I don't even think it's important to show you what the mattress looks like because I mean, it's just a mattress. You guys were more curious in like a little update. And it's actually been just shy of two months that we've had the mattress. So I feel like this is a pretty well-rounded review at this point. I mean, that's a lot of nights of sleeping on this bed. I mean, no spoiler alerts here at all. I actually really like it. I think it's a great mattress. It didn't require any breaking in, which I really like. So since day one, it's just been a really comfortable mattress to sleep on. I feel like I get a really good restful night's sleep. I don't wake up with like my back hurting or any pain at all. So that's fantastic. And I really think that the reason for that is the fact that the bed is adjustable. So if you guys are new to sleep number, there is an app, where is it? Where you can adjust like the softness or the firmness essentially of the bed. So depending on how you feel that day, you can keep adjusting it, especially if you're just laying in bed to watch TV, you might want it more firm versus sleeping, you might want it more soft or like vice versa and stuff like that. So I feel like the fact that you can adjust the bed helps 
you to sleep and there not to be any pain you know what i mean there's also like this responsive air feature that i have on but um it senses just pretty much your like every move throughout the night and it makes adjustments for you just to keep you more comfortable so if i'm laying on my back my setting might be in one number but then if i roll over to my side it might like readjust to like conform to my body a little bit if that makes sense i don't know i just think that feature is really cool and then obviously one of the main things about it is that if you are sleeping in the bed with someone else like your partner is in the bed too you guys do not sleep the same <laughs> i think that it would be really rare for you guys to pick a bed and agree on like the softness or the firmness of the bed so a major perk with this bed is the fact that each side you can set different settings so I obviously don't sleep the same as Juan and he doesn't sleep the same as me um, so we can make our own adjustment so that we're both like super comfortable as a refresher too because I forgot to mention this I think we got the i8 so I like this one because it had a little bit more like plushness on the top it had like a mattress topper or something if you will on it so I liked this version more because it made like the mattress a little bit thicker and I think that it also has like some cooling technology in it too to make sure that you don't get like too hot throughout the night I can't really speak on that i think that i still get kind of hot throughout the night we actually sleep with the ac on yes even in the winter time so i don't know if that's like working all that well we also have like a big like duvet comforter on too so that probably doesn't help either but yeah anyway that's my quick little update on a sleep number mattress i'll link the one down below that we have but you guys can obviously go in the store and sit on it and adjust it and find like your number that's what we ended up doing before we bought this it was actually a pretty cool experience and i think that they also have like a hundred sleep night guarantee where if it just doesn't work you can like return it and stuff like that for free i think but i don't know don't sleep on it <laughs> if you like this mattress i think it's a really really good one <laughs> we are going out on a little adventure we are going to a barbecue place in seattle it's called woodshop one has been there just once before or many times two three okay he loves it. He's been craving barbecue, so we're gonna venture over there to get it. Um, we'll see if we eat there, if we just like bring it back. But so far the weather is like holding out. It's been kind of like sunny. It's a little cold, but at least it's just not raining, you know? Because I think the this place, it's outdoor seating only. They don't have anything inside. So we'll scope it out when we get there. We're really excited. Are you excited? Yeah. When was the last time you went? Yeah, before the pandemic. Oh, Jesus. So like 10 years ago. So like 10 years ago, yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right, no? Yeah. Jeez. And then all of these boxes, if you guys are curious, it's... I need to make a trip over to the condo. I've been ordering, as you guys know, a bunch of stuff to like replenish and refurnish the condo so that I can get it up on Airbnb. So uh, that's what all that stuff is there but putting it in the car is to motivate me to go to the condo. Cause there's a lot of other things I need to do at the condo, like when it comes to organizing. So maybe we can go tomorrow or something. Maybe you can go tomorrow. I need you because I can't lift those boxes up the stairs. You know? Come pick me up cause I just want to see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Remember, if it starts to burn, that's a good thing. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. One, we're gonna go one more time. Good. Back up, back up. I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she. Stairs. Fresh was delivered while I was in the shower. Stuff for smoothies, cleaning supplies. That was it. Bananas. Bananas. I mean, 
essentials. Bread. Eggs. Knife. Did you check them? They look good. What do you want these? At the bottom. On the bottom overfill. You didn't try to buy Diet Coke, right? No. Okay. He comes to help to put things in the fridge and then I just move everything around because he puts things in the wrong spot. No, so. <laughs> it's a thought that counts, I guess. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at how much weight Oliver has lost. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Hi, bud. You look so good. Here's our lunch for today. Juan prepared it, pretty much, but we got a big old steak over here. We have this, what is it? Tortilla de papa. Okay. They eat it a lot in Argentina, but I guess it's also from Spain. Yeah. So, there's that. But, delicious. This is his first time making it, so let's see how it is and then just some stuffed olives because delicious. I like how I haven't even said good morning yet. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> and then I put my hoodie on, but then I didn't even take my hair out from inside the hoodie. <laughs> it's kind of better for eating, you know? It keeps my hair tucked in. So it doesn't get in my food, you know? Smart. So smart. <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> Can you explain what's in this for those that don't know? Because yeah. I know it has potatoes in it, but it's what really else? really simple. Okay, we're back. My camera ran out of memory. Okay, so explain. Oh, explain. Oh, <laughs> you're sitting on candles. Um, explain what's in it for those that don't know. It's really easy. Mm. Um, potatoes, yeah. onions, and eggs. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Delicious. It's really good though, babe. Don't you think? I think it's pretty good. Hey babes, just waiting for my garage door to shut, but it's actually a few days later and I was editing this vlog last night and I was like, oh my god, I didn't even end off this vlog at all. If I didn't film an outro, it would have just like abruptly ended and I didn't want that. So I'm heading out to like go pick up my Amazon packages, but I just wanted to hop on here and officially end off this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me plus a few days. I'm actually going to continue to vlog. My next video is going to be a vlog, so I'll just see you guys in a couple of days in my next one. Hopefully you guys are doing really well. Love you guys so much. Bye.